This video is for entertainment purposes only. Nothing should be taken as factual. This is all my opinion and for your entertainment. Thank you and enjoy. Hey everybody, this is Sonia with Melanin Goddess Life. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Astrological Reading Celebrity Edition. All right, you guys, this is another reading uh, as requested by my Instagram followers. If you are not following me on Instagram, you're missing out on a treat. So go follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Melanin Goddess Life. Um, I occasionally put out requests for uh, celebrity readings that people want me to do. And I put out a request the other day and I got the request back. And today we're going to be highlighting, um, I believe this person is a rapper. I, listen, I'm old school. I don't know too much about these new rappers and, you know, I know a handful of their names. I have heard this young man's name before, but I couldn't tell you what he's, what, what music he plays, what's his songs, what's his, what's on the radio with him. I couldn't tell you from what I understand. he's very talented, very popular. And this is what my Instagram followers wanted me to do. And we're going to be talking about the rapper Jack Harlow. Okay, so again, I know nothing about Jack Harlow, okay? So, so this is going to be new for me. We are just going to dive into the astrology of this young man, see what's going on with his life, see what could be coming up for him in the next few months, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy the reading. As always, my readings are entertainment purposes only. I do not claim anything to be factual. This is all my opinion and all based on my interpretation of the personal astrology entertainment purposes only. So let's get started. So Jack Harlow was born March 13th, 1998. I have a birth time for him, 1142 AM. He was born in St. Matthews, Kentucky. This makes him 24 years old. He is actually a Pisces sun, a Virgo moon, and he is a Gemini rising. That um, Pisces sun and that Gemini rising speaks to him being a rapper, as far as I'm concerned. Um, speaks to him, his, his creativity, uh, how he's able to spin a story in the fantasy of the Pisces energy, and uh, how he's able to write, with Gemini being the sign of communication, speaking, learning, teaching, writing. This is all about him writing his raps and delivering his music and delivering his message in a artistic sort of way. So his, and then on top of that, he's a Virgo moon. So he's probably a stickler for the details of everything. Okay. Um, probably like a little bored on OCD perfectionist because I have a Virgo moon and I know how that energy operates. But nevertheless, um, his big three just tie into him being in the rap industry off the bat. Okay. So he's 24 years old. So I did Jack's relationship energy. Again, let's go over what this could look like. Um, I go in and I do my calculations to determine when a per, at what age a person is going to be in relationship energy. And I do this for everyone. Okay. So this could, um, this basically looks like off the top about four scenarios, just depending on where you are is going to determine how this shows up in your life. So I did Jack's calculations. I have his age here. Uh, before we get started, um, the first scenario could be if Jack is totally single. Now, I don't know anything about Jack's personal love life. I have no clue. So you guys probably know more than I do. So here you go. If Jack is completely single, not in any type of romantic connection with anyone, this would be the age in which someone would come into his life for a potential long-term relationship. If Jack is currently in a relationship and the relationship is going well, whether it's, uh, let's just say he's single. He's in a relationship. You can't be single in a relationship. You know what I mean. Uh, he's in a relationship with someone. The relationship is going well. Uh, they want to move the relationship forward. This would be the energy of him wanting to put permanence on the relationship. So this could look like moving in together, maybe getting engaged or getting married. Um, this will also be if Jack is in a relationship and the relationship is not going well, this will definitely bring a shakeup to the relationship with the potential of a possible breakup. And the final scenario would be, this would be the energy of uh, Jack just really taking relationships seriously, figuring out what he wants in a relationship, 
what he wants in a partner, and working on how he shows up as a partner in a relationship. The age in which I came up with that I feel like there's going to be some significant shift for Jack Harlow is the age of 24. So currently Jack is in relationship energy. So this year of 24, because he just turned 24 last month. So until his next birthday, we could see some significant change by way of Jack Harlow's love life. Now, again, depending on where he is in that love life is going to determine what that change or what that transition or transformation looks like. So there we have it. Um, I also did another age for him. I came up with the age of 27 because at the end of the day, we all have free will on what we want to do. So he'll have the same supportive energy again at 27. But let's just see what happens with him for 2022 and what transpires with his love life. So let's move forward with the theme of Jack's 2022. And the theme of his 2022, this is where a lot of his energy is going to be and a lot of his focus is going to be is in the area of his first house, okay? So this is all about Jack's physical appearance and physical body. This is gonna have a lot to do with how he shows up in a physical sense. So this could be a lot of transformation on his identity, how he physically looks. So this may be him changing up his style of dress, changing up his haircut, his hair color, um, something about his presence. This could be him really starting to get in shape of some sort. I mean, maybe he starts to, to work out more. He starts to get his body like in like this pristine, ripped like um, condition. So him really taking a lot of energy and focusing on how he presents in a physical sense outwardly. This is also going to be about Jack's energy. In addition to his physical appearances and changes that are going to be going to his physical body, there's going to be a lot of internal changes with Jack. So this is going to be the energy of experiencing him differently when you encounter him. Okay, so this is a lot of maturity, a lot of growth, a lot of changes for him. Um, also with that, with this first house energy, this brings a lot of opportunities to him. So he's going to be drawing in a lot of opportunities. Um this 2022. And just a, again, a lot of transformation. He, he's just going to be presenting very much differently. And you're probably going to be seeing a new and improved Jack Harlow. Okay. So that's his theme of 2022. Getting himself together in uh, physical shape, um, getting himself together, uh, changing up his style, um, and also internal changes um, that are he's going to be making and a lot of opportunities coming his way. So that is his theme of his 2022. So now we're going to take a look at some of the transits that are going on in his chart, which is very interesting because Jack has a really, really good year for 2022, I would say. I personally believe just looking at his chart, he has a lot of supportive energy for growth in his career. So we're going to start. We're going to start there first. So in his 10th house, the 10th house is the house of, among other things, our career life, um, our public image. Uh, our standing in the community, how people receive us, how people see us, what we're known for, the titles that we wear, authority people, authority figures are in this house. Um, also, I, I consider this is the house of our father. So our father is in this house. Prominent men are in this house. But this is all about his career, his public image, things of that nature. So uh, Jack has the planet Jupiter here in the 10th house. Now, the Jupiter stays in a house for about a year, maybe a year and a half, uh, depending on the retrograde stance. Um, and so it has been in Jack's career house for a, a, quite a bit of time. And it's going to stay there at least until the fall of 2022. So he does have a few more months of this supportive energy. Um, so some of the things about Jupiter. Jupiter is a planet of expansion, growth, opportunity, wisdom, healing, blessings, big blessings, being optimistic. Now, it is also <laughs> the area that uh, Jupiter can make you a little bit overly optimistic and it kind of can inflate your ego a little bit. So it can put you in the energy of maybe promising more than you can deliver. So you kind of have to keep Jupiter in check for the most part. This is a planet that we love to see coming because we know it's going to bring a blessing and opportunity and expansion. It is in his career house. So again, he has this supportive energy and has had this supportive energy 
for quite some time. And so he'll have it at least until I would say, Remy, August, September of 2022. This is all about growth and expansion in his career. This is about opportunities coming to him and him taking advantage advantage of growing his career. Now, again, I don't follow this young man, so I'm going to go out on a limb and say the last year has been great for his career. Um, I'm sure he's had a lot of accolades. This is also the area where we receive uh, our roses, where we receive awards, admiration, accolades. So I could see the possibility, again, I don't know this man, um, a lot of uh, recognition for his work that he does, a lot of popularity, growth in his in his fan base, growth in how he's seen in the public, favorability of how he's seen in the public. So this is an awesome place to have Jupiter in the career house because it's all about growth. Now, what the, another thing that it supports is Jupiter is a very healing planet. So if Jack had any type of issues with prominent men in his family, and I'm going to specifically say with his father, um, this would have been, or this still is, great energy to heal any type of situations that have to do with authority figures, with having to do with your father. You know, prominent men, if, if he's been estranged from his father, if there's been a strain in the relationship, Jupiter is there to assist with healing of that relationship. So again, I don't know the, the dynamics with him and his father. I don't know that situation. But if it was something to that degree, uh, you know, that was going on. This could have been a time previously, you know, in the last year or so that Jack was healing his relationship with his father, or it was just starting to uh, go in a different direction, in a more positive direction. So he could have used that energy to support that. Um, he also has Neptune in here in the 10th house. Now, Neptune is the planet of creativity, spirituality, fantasy, illusion, our imagination, um, now, it's also the planet of a little bit of confusion and delusion. Now, it stayed, Neptune stays in the house for about 14 years. So Jack still has a considerable amount of time with this Neptune energy here because Jupiter's going to leave, you know, later this year. But Neptune will still be there. Now, with Neptune in the 10th house, this will definitely bode well for his creativity uh, with regards to his career. However... The thing that concerns me with this is Jack has to be very careful with the people that he surrounds himself with, particularly those people that are considered in authority figures. So people that he's entrusting with his career, he's working with, around, and for. He needs to be careful who he's aligning himself with, okay? Um, Neptune can't give you this, this, this mindset of, idealizing the people around you in your career sector. So you're seeing them one way and that's not who they really are. They're representing something else, you know, underneath. He's going to have to rely a lot on his intuition when it comes to his career for the next five to seven years, because a lot of the details are not going to be spelled out for him. So he's actually going to have to lean into his Pisces intuition. And because he's a Pisces, he's one of the most intuitive signs of the Zodiac. He's going to have to lean hard into in his intuition on how he feels about a situation and decisions that he's making around his career. Okay. His intuition is going to be where it is, even though it may look a certain way. Uh, it may be presented a certain way. And all of, everything that's being said may sound good. But if he has that feeling that something is not right, Jack needs to lean into that because his intuition is going to guide him on this. Now, another way that this shows up with Neptune in the 10th house is this is the energy of people seeing you, seeing Jack, the way they want to see him. And that's not actually who he is. So he's going to have to fight or redirect his image. People are going to get, you know, in their minds what they feel like or who the Jack Harlow brand is. But deep down underneath, that's not who he is. So he has to be careful with people trying to put him in a box, careful with people trying to redirect his image to fit what they want. And he really, really needs to stand in his truth on who he is and making sure that he is um, committed 
or he is respecting his individuality and he is presenting himself as who he is and not what people want him to be. Okay. Whew. The next thing we're going to talk about is um, Jack has Saturn in the ninth house. Saturn typically typically stays in the house for about two and a half years. So Jack has another about year and a half of this energy. Now, Saturn in the ninth house, this is definitely going to put seriousness around his international travel. Um, he may be seriously thinking about, or if he's not already started, uh, some serious um, educational pursuits. Um, so looking into that. So if he has not already this uh, started, you know, aligning himself with uh, higher education, this could be a thing for him. Um, international travel is going to be a thing for him. Now, this is the area that governs his belief system. So he actually may be going through this thing of figuring out what he believes by way of his religion or his spiritual life. That becoming into play. He may be wrestling with uh, if he was if he grew up with a certain religion or he grew up with a certain spiritual belief. He may be changing and evolving and maturing to another area. Okay, and that has a lot to do with his international travel. He may be taking um, trips internationally to areas where he could learn how other cultures worship because he's trying to seek out his own individual spiritual path. Okay. So that's going to be serious for him. Um, his dealings with foreigners, he's going to have a lot of people that are foreign that come into his life. So this could actually be people of a different race, a different culture coming from a different country or just people that he doesn't normally align himself with could be coming into his life as a benefit. OK, to him. And this and because this is Saturn energy, this could be him surrounding himself with people that are older chronologically or just much more mature. OK, and he's seeking guidance and counsel for people as he goes on this journey of his spiritual life. Now, this is also the area that governs the law and legal proceedings. I don't know if there is a legal situation going on with Jack or he could be coming up on one here in the next year and a half. I'm not really sure what that could be, but there is the potential from some type of legal situation to come up here if it has not already started here in the next year and a half for him. So just be mindful of that. Next thing we're going to talk about is his Pluto in the eighth house. The eighth house is the house of other people's resources, other people's money, um, things that you garner in collaboration with someone else or through someone else. This is also the area that governs inheritances, taxes, loans, uh, property, um, credit. And this is the, uh, the house that governs sex and intimacy. Pluto is a planet of transformation, evolution. Um, it's the planet of power, power struggles, death and rebirth, literally and figuratively. Now, Pluto is a very slow moving planet. It takes about anywhere from 14 to 30 years to go through a particular house. So this has been in his eighth house for a few years. Okay. Um, and because he's such a young man, this could probably have started like when he was a child. But anyway, uh, I digress. Just know that he has several more years of this energy coming up. Now, because Pluto is a slow moving planet, the energy is not as... Um, you don't feel it as much as you do with the other faster moving planets. It's a very subtle energy, but it is a powerful energy nonetheless. Again, it's a transformative energy. So what I do when I look at Pluto, I look at what the degree is at. Because there are certain degrees in astrology that show that something could become a disruption at, any, at, at a certain point. 29 is what we consider a critical degree in astrology. That to me signifies there is about to be something that happens with regards to this planet in this house. Pluto is at the 28th degree. So it is like, to me, it's like a, a teapot and it's boiling and then boiling and boiling. And all of a sudden it makes that noise when it's about to, when it spouts. We're coming up on that. So here is my interpretation of what this could look like. Jack needs to be mindful of the people that he particularly has in control of his finances um, that he's dealing with on a financial level. Um, there may be some things that are revealed to him that uh, are not on the up and up with regards to 
how his money is being handled, particularly by other people around him. Um, he needs to be more involved with the financial component of his career, more hands on, more knowledgeable, more taking charge of that. Because I do, I cannot say for certain, but there may be some deception. There may be um, something around his finances, his monies that he's left in charge of other people that may not be on the up and up. And he may be in for a surprise with regards to this Pluto as it gets closer to that 29th degree that everyone has not, that he's put in charge of that area of his life have not been on the up and up with him and that his money is probably in a situation that he had no clue, okay? This is also about power struggles. So this could look like um, him being in some type of power struggle with regards to his ties with another person with regards to shared finances and resources. With him being in the music industry, this could be him um, in a contract with the, the with the label of some sort that he may not necessarily want to be in anymore, but he's in this, this contract and he's realizing that this contract that he's in is not it's not beneficial to him. So there may be a power struggle with him wanting to be released from that because you have to remember Pluto is the planet of slavery. Okay. So he may feel like he's been enslaved to this, this situation, this joint connection. Uh, and I just use the record label because he's an entertainer. So he may be looking at his contract and saying that, you know, I'm I'm not benefiting from this. I feel like I'm being enslaved to y'all. It's like I cannot get out of this contract. So it may be a power struggle with regards to that for him coming up. Okay. Now, this is also the area that governs sex and intimacy. This is again because he's in relationship energy. I look at this as him really wanting to find an intimate connection with someone. This is another indicator that lets me know that there is a potential for a serious relationship for him to come up this year, okay? So I would not doubt that he is um, either dating someone seriously in secret, in secret, or um, some, there's a relationship that's gonna come up here this year, and it's going to be a very serious, intimate connection with this person, okay? Um, but I would caution Jack on how his money is being handled. Um, I would caution him on who he's going into business with, who he's signing contracts with, who he's sharing his resources with, his monies with, all of that. And this could also look like, uh, power struggles over inheritances, uh, taxes, loans, things of that nature. Just a lot of, a lot of deep psychological issues with regards to the sharing of finances and resources with another person is coming up for him. Okay. Um, he has uh, Uranus in the 11th house. 11th house is our friends, social groups, uh, technology, long-term goals, dreams, and wishes, and unexpected blessings. Uranus stays in the house for about seven years. So it's been there for a while. It's about to go out of, uh, out of this area of his life uh, fairly soon. So he's been experiencing a lot of unexpected blessings, uh, unexpected opportunities, um, meeting new people of all walks of life, because this Uranus is all about um, unexpected change, unpredictability, doing things totally different uh, outside of the box, you know, futuristic, you know, type things. People are, that are just different and 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 odd and strange. So a lot of those different types of people coming to his life have been coming in there for the last several years, sort of like the last five, five to six years, and just having a lot of unexpected blessings through his friends and connections with his social groups. Um, so this energy has been there to support him for a long time. It's going, it's finally getting ready to go out of this area of his life and about he has about another year of this supportive energy so i would say roughly about summer of 2023 this energy will leave that area of his life so he still has quite a bit of time where he's going to be benefiting through um different experiences engaging with different people friend groups people that he ties himself to uh, he could definitely see a long-term goal dream or wish come to fruition here in this last year uh, and just a lot of unexpected blessings for him, which I'm excited for him for that. 
He also have, has his North Node and South Node. Now, the North Nodes, these are points in the sky. The North Node is our destiny. It's where we're going. And the South Node is where we're being and where we need to release. His North Node is in the 12th house. This is the area that governs endings, closures, healing. Um, this is the area of our fantasy, the afterlife, our spiritual life also. Um, and and specialized populations. Those is, These are people that are in confined spaces like prisons, hospitals, rehab centers, um, things of that nature. So with the North Node being there, it usually typically stays maybe a couple of years, if I'm not mistaken. Um, this is all about Jack healing, okay? This is going to be a great energy for him to heal himself of any traumas, release any self-sabotaging behavior because this is the area that governs addictions. So this is an area that he can re finally release any self-sabotaging behaviors, grow his spiritual life. Um, if there is a connection with anyone that is in one of those specialized areas that are listed, that I listed, he may have some kind of connection with someone in those areas. I'm not really sure what that is. I don't know if this is someone on his personal life or something to that effect, but a lot of energy or attention paid towards specialized populations, hospitals, rehab centers, and prisons. I don't know if he decides to check himself into some type of wellness retreat to help him with any type of addictions that he may have. And, and please keep in mind, addictions do not always mean drugs. Addictions could be to spending, to sex, to, you know, eating, anything. So he may be uh, doing this thing where he goes on a retreat. Maybe he checks himself into a wellness retreat, a rehab center of some sort. But this is all about his healing, all about his healing. And this is great energy for him to do a lot of work on himself behind the scenes. You may see Jack withdraw from the public, you know, over this next year or so. Um, only making appearances where he's required and him just taking the time to heal himself in private. So you may see him do that. You may see him less of him on the scene and uh, hear more about him delving into his spiritual life and healing himself. Uh, his south node is in the sixth house. So it's opposite the 12th house. Health and fitness, mental and physical health, our work environment, our daily work routines. These are the people, this is the routine where we work with, around, and for in the environment we work in. Um, our personal routines, personal uh, schedules and things of that nature, pets and service to others. This could see Jack doing a lot of volunteer work, uh, volunteering to charity. Uh, I could actually see him doing some type of um, volunteer work um, in a foreign country, you know, where he goes and he helps with building homes and, 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 you know, developing countries of some sort, or he's donating money and his time to um, foreign type things uh, and, for, and foreigners. Because remember, he's highlighted with that ninth house of foreigners and foreign lands. And the 12th house is also foreign lands. So this could be him doing charity work in another country of some sort or committing, you know, money to charitable organizations in another country. But charity work could be a big deal for him. Um, this is all about him getting control of his, um, his health. Cause you remember at the top of the video, we talked about his tra transforming his physical self. So this could, could look like Jack adopting a more healthier lifestyle for himself. So this could be, uh, and because this is the area that governs the foods that we eat, him changing his diet, uh, changing how he eats. So he may become a vegan, ve uh, vegan, vegetarian, pescatarian, eliminating certain foods from his diet, getting really serious about his health and fitness. He may decide to go into therapy himself. Again, this mirrors that 12th house of hospitals, rehab centers, prisons, things of that nature. And this is sixth house is all about our mental health. So he may be thinking about um, going into therapy if he's not already in it. So he can release some of those you, maybe he suffers from anxiety or, or depression or something like that, but he's seeking help for that. His work environment, um, I think at this point with his work environment, this is all about him streamlining his work environment and making it easier, okay? Um, whereas he can create more. So if he's had issues with people that he works with, 
the environment in which he creates in, making changes, releasing those those um, those outdated ways that you did work, releasing those uh, relationships with people that you worked with that are not working anymore, and moving into a space that helps you flow better, work better, make you more efficient. Remember the sixth house, this is a Virgo house, so it's all about making things more efficient, making things work better, okay? So that, that's going to be an energy around his work environment. So to sum things up, Jack Harlow 2022, if you're watching this video, this is how I see uh, your 2022 panning out. I see love for you, okay? Now, if you're already in a relationship, and again, if it's going well, I see this relationship getting really serious. Are you someone coming into your life and you making a serious commitment to that person? Um, your career is awesome. One of the things that I didn't talk about was he just had his Jupiter return in the 10th house of his career. His career is just awesome. It is going in a really, really good direction. I'm excited to see what he does. I think I'm going to start following this guy because, you know, now I, I don't know him. So now I'm interested in seeing how his uh, 2022 turns out. So this, Jack, this is going to look like a, a relationship in a serious way for you. Um, and actually, the person that I could see you partnering up with, this is definitely going to be someone that is in the industry or works in your industry. Um, so same professional background. Actually, this person could boost your reputation. So this is someone that is in your industry um, and can be a benefit to your career. Okay. This is a, someone that's going to be super, super supportive of your career because you guys understand it. So this is going to work well for you with someone that uh, knows how knows how the industry is, knows how the business is. And this is you uh, partnering up with someone that actually has a really, really good reputation in your career arena and it boosts your reputation as well. Um with that Jupiter in your 10th house and how this works out, you're really favorable in the uh, public eye. And this is this bodes well for a successful career. And your, your love life taking off in a great direction. Your career is going in a great direction. Um, you getting physically healthy, mentally and physically healthy. Um, you tapping into your spirituality, growing your spiritual life is going to be awesome for you. Um, the only thing that I caution you about is your finances and who you are entrusting with your finances and who you're going into business with. I caution you to be very, very careful with that. Pay attention to your financial dealings. Pay attention. Um, there may be some things that are going on with regards to your finances that you would not be happy with. So get more involved with that would be my advice to you. So that is the end of my reading for Jack Harlow. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If anybody knows Jack, send him this video. Um, <laughs> again, this is for entertainment purposes only. Nothing that I can that I said can be taken as factual. It is my opinion and my interpretation of the astrology. And if you're interested in your own personal reading, please visit my website at www.melanangoddesslife.biz. Follow me on all my social media platforms, Facebook and Instagram. And most importantly, like, share and subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. Thank you so much for your time and you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.